Now, we're on Cheryl Watch at the moment, so no better person to give us the inside track on the showdown between Ashley and herself is PR guru to the stars, Max Clifford. Lisa got up with him in London at the weekend. There's no coming back, back, oh, oh. There's no coming back. Well, we're back here in Max Clifford's offices to get the lowdown on what's happening with Cheryl Coe. Max, what's going on? Um, well, I think obviously everybody knows what's going on, but uh, Ashley's been a very naughty boy, and um, Cheryl has said that's enough. I think what's interesting is the fact that she said it's, uh, it's a separation, so maybe that she's hoping that he's going to grow up and sort himself out so that possibly things could continue. I don't know. It... it it doesn't look to me as if she's, you know, totally shut the door. It's emerged today that Ashley has now taken off his wedding ring as a mark of respect to Cheryl, but also in a bit of hope to possibly putting it back on again in the future. But what about his childish attempts last week of blaming the breakdown of his marriage on his mother-in-law? After all the things he's been doing, you know, whether, whatever the mother, mother-in-law might be, there's no way that she's responsible for this. There's only one person responsible. And if he can't see that, then he must be even thicker than, you know, you're led to believe he is. Thick or not, what's in store for Mr Ashley Cole? I don't think that anybody out there is going to see this as justification for him doing what he did. Don't forget, he was caught out in 2007 and given a final warning and in uh, in more recent times there's been at least four have come forward Um, and I mean one of them was in America when he was on tour with Chelsea Um, I don't think the mother was on tour with Chelsea the mother-in-law so so. I'm not sure if he can blame her for that as well but no it's it's a nonsense and and the fact is if if he is using this as an excuse then it's even more damaging to his credibility as well as his intelligence What about the girls from the band, they're all rallying around her, Simon Cowell as well, Louis Walsh, everybody's feeling her pain, yeah, I suppose. I think everybody feels sorry for her. I mean, you know, she's had an incredibly couple of, incredibly successful couple of years. I think in terms of popularity, you know, it's been amazing. Um, but what you've got are two major stars in different areas. You've got Ashley in football, which is a huge world. And then you've got Cheryl in music and now television. So there's going to be huge worldwide interest. And, of course, the problem with that is, even if Cheryl says nothing, even if Ashley says nothing, there's going to be a plenty of close friends talking to the media and saying this, they're saying that, and he said this and she said this, whether it's true or not. So this matter isn't going to disappear. And what about her plans to move to the U.S. and conquer the American market? Do you think that will work for her now in her favour? Her best chance of breaking it in America is in the hands of Simon Cowell. He's made her a huge star in this country by putting her on X Factor when everybody said he was crazy. Um, It's been a huge success for her, for the show and for him. Now he's taking X Factor to America and there's a lot of speculation that Cheryl might be appearing in that. Although, you know, as I say, nobody knows. But um, I think that because he's such a big star over there, um, that his guidance and his input would make a huge amount of difference in terms of how things might take off at the moment. She's only famous in America because of this scandal. Well, Cheryl, scandalous or not, expose says, chin up, dear, it's your time to shine. We'll be giving you full reports on the Ashley Cole saga as the drama unfolds.